up doing for getting some nice expansion and improving shoulder mobility is a row. So I love using weight. Sometimes that additional weight and tension can really help us kind of open up different areas of the ribcage. So setting up in a kind of two-point row position. So you can do this in a hinge position. You can do this in a lateral lunge position. You can do it in kind of two feet together. You can even do it with staggered feet, kind of a hip shift position, depending on what your body needs. But I'm setting up with my right foot forward and in this kind of kickstand hinge, I want to think about being long from head to toe and the weight is going to go in my right hand. So in this setup, I'm getting some length through the right glute. If I have some of those asymmetries, I can even think about turning my pelvis to the left a little bit. I'm pressing through really hard with my left hand, inside edge of the hand, index finger, thumb. And I'm essentially going to think about letting my shoulder blade kind of hang towards the ground as much as possible. I'm thinking about these ribs back, but also the shoulder blade reaching down. I'm over the midfoot, lengthening in the butt, not extending. And I'm thinking about kind of just breathing in this position. Watching I'm not over flexing through my spine while pushing through on this left hand. I'm allowing this hang to happen, feeling some length on the back side of the rib cage, shoulder blade. If I want to add that row to it, I'm going to think about that inhale to reach and then exhale to row. Watching that my shoulder blade doesn't dip forward, so sometimes I like to think about initiating through the back side of the shoulder blade and thinking about elbow towards hip. Getting a lot of right glute here. Inhale, keep that press to the left side. Exhale, row. Inhale, exhale, row. So this is your two point row. And I'm also just getting some nice rib cage mobility as I kind of row. Watch that this doesn't happen. So keeping that shoulder blade back. Exhale, Row. 